I right, Shalom. I right, first and foremost, I'd like to get all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakodash. I'd like to say double honors to my apostles, a great millstone, they rule well. I'd like to say peace and salutation to the elect that's pushing this word of truth, sincerely, all right? Yeah, um, I had this article, I ran across this article um, yesterday, and I did a lesson on it. And, um, you know, not Satan is, man, because I did it off my phone. And, uh, <clears throat> and all of a sudden, uh, the, AC screen, the AC screen just cut off on me, so I'm finna redo it. So... I'm going to read this article real quick. Um, it says, uh, Body parts and crazy fire. Deadly car explosion shakes Pennsylvania town. All right. I'm going to read this real quick. It says, uh, At least one person died after a car explosion struck a neighborhood in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Witnesses of the horroring scene say the fire was crazy and that streaks of blood were seen around the explosion. So they said the fire was crazy. So uh, the Lord, you know, saying he's bringing um, all kinds of judgment to this place, man. <laughs> he's bringing all kinds of, um, you know, uh, um, death. OK. You know, to America, man. OK. He bringing all he's bringing he's bringing them um, judgment. So this is the judgment of the Lord. It's a debris from the car, which reportedly was split in half after the blast was reportedly strewn around the whole block on Sunday. The explosion was felt far beyond the area and was heard throughout the town. Local newspaper, The Morning Call, reported the fire was crazy. Resident Carlos Perodin, who lives not far from the scene, told local media, other revealed that they saw body parts, streaks of blood around the explosion. So... So this got to be in a in in um in a Jake neighborhood, man, in um so-called Latino neighborhood, man. So we understand that the Lord, you know what I'm saying, putting hell, you know, putting hell on our people, man, as far as the judgment, okay? <laughs> but I'm going to play this video after I read the uh the uh the article is a short article. It says the following video contains strong language and extremely graphic and may disturb some viewers. So I'm going to play this real quick. It says Allentown is a city of just over 100,000 people located a one hour drive northwest from Philadelphia. It says it, it's not clear so far how or why the explosion happened. It says the FBI and Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosive, <laughs> which the ATF went to the scene to investigate the explosion officers from multiple police departments flocked to the Allentown after the incident. Okay, so he got an explosion that happened right here. So they took a picture of that. So the Lord is not fucking playing, man. He's he's uh he's 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 coming down on uh on, on, on these people in America, especially our people. Okay, you go to police scene, all right. But I'm finna play this gruesome video. You know, what I'm saying that the Lord did. The Lord is not playing, man. He's uh, he, he's he's uh, he's bringing judgment, man. Watch this. <laughs> so it's gonna play. I'm about to press it again. Yeah, now you see, now to see that gruesome, gruesome, um, judgment from the Lord, man, now you see that hand, <laughs> that body part was laid, uh, you know what I'm saying, on the ground, man, somebody's hand, man, so there's gonna be more of this going on, you know what I'm saying, in America, man, there's <laughs> gonna be more explosions, more explosions, there's gonna be more death, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be more judgment coming. So the Lord is basically, you know, firing up right now, man. Okay. 
He's turning it up. He's turning up the spirit, man. Okay. All right. So this proves that the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Um, Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. He's he's bringing death, man. You know what I'm saying? He's sending these death angels. You know what I'm saying? To cause these explosions, man. All right. Causing these uh judgments to come. So you see that hand laying on the on the uh ground. That proves that you know what I'm saying. You know, death is finna happen rapidly, man. You know when um when the, when the doors of uh grace, you know what I'm saying, shut, man, it's over with. It's gonna be a whole lot of hell breaking loose, man. So this just the walk in the park right here. So this this gonna this 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 is um this this the starting of the beginning, okay. <laughs> they see this is the beginning of sorrows, you know what I'm saying. But uh, I'm finna go to the scriptures. Just prove what the Lord, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is behind all this death and destruction, man. All right? Um, so I can get my swore app. <laughs> <coughs> This is um, Deuteronomy 32-39. It says, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither there is any that can deliver out of my hand. So that person got blown to bits. You know what I'm saying? You want, that person wasn't delivered out of the Lord's hand, man. He sent the deaf angel. You know what I'm saying? Put that, uh, uh, make that car blow up like that, man. Okay. So the Lord is the Lord is causing all death, man. Okay. The Lord bringing death to this place, man. The Lord is, the Lord is behind. You know. Uh, um, you know He behind all the judgment that's happening to these people out here, man. Especially our people, man. Okay. <laughs> so don't get me wrong. This probably in a Latino neighborhood too, because the Lord said uh, He gonna start with a sanctuary. All right. Um, it's self-explanatory, man. Um, this is um. I'm gonna go to First Samuel chapter two, verse six. So I like two and six. It says, "Um, the Lord killeth and maketh alive; he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up." Okay, all right. So, the Lord is the Lord is behind all the killing, man. All the all the all the destruction and all the mayhem, all right? <laughs> so this scripture, you know what I'm saying, is self-explanatory, right? Say, uh, the Lord killeth make, and make of a lie. So the Lord can kill you and bring you to life, man. Okay. The Lord can kill you and, 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 and make and let you live, man. Okay. He bring him down to the grave, all right, and bring him up. Okay. He can he can he can make you low, okay? He can make you lowest of the low or make you highs of the high, man. Okay. Lord control death and, and, and life of death and um rich and poor, man. But the main topic is the Lord is all behind the killing, man. Okay. Let's go to Psalms. Um what is it sixty eight and twenty? If I'm not mistaken. I just Psalm 68 and 20 and say, he that is our power is the power of salvation. All right. So the Lord is the power of salvation, man. Okay. Because, you know, we striving to, we striving to get saved, man, out this hell hole, man. We striving to get saved from, from the um, coming of destruction of this place, man. All right. It says, and unto the most high, the Lord, Yahweh belong issues from death. Okay. So the Lord control death, man. Okay. Let's let's look up the word for death. It goes back to the Hebrew word my wife, my 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 veth means death, dying, person personified beyond from of the dead. Dead death by violence. Okay? As the penalty, state of death, place of death. So what happened to that 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 person, man? Okay. Motherfucker died of death by violence, man. Okay. Any any type any type of um any type of uh, uh turmoil any type of any type of death any type of uh you know 
um, violent, violent um, act is, is from the Lord. Okay. Um, Salakia. I'm going to go to my last scripture. I'm going to go to uh, it's kind of slow, so bear with me. Just bear with me. Like you, it's Satan, man. It's Satan. I don't know why I stuck like this, but Satan don't want this to come out. He don't want this um to come out. Yes. Yeah, Satan has to come out. I don't know why it is. It just stuck like this, man. I close app. Now I'm finna start back. I'm gonna keep this rolling because Satan don't want this to come out. Salakia, um, Akim. Here you go. All right, this is um, Ecclesiastes, which is Sirach 39, 28. It say, the spirit, there be, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pull out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Lord caused that fire to blow up like that, man. The Lord put the spirit on that fire, okay, the... um. The devourer, you know what I'm saying, that individual, man. That's why his hand, that's why that individual hand, okay, was um, on the ground like that, man. All right? Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance, okay? So all four of these, okay, all four of these um, different types of um, 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 fatalities, man, okay? The Lord created all four fatalities, man, okay? What's going to happen in this place, man? Okay, the Lord created these for vengeance. All right, so you never know what that person have done in this in that in that in his lifetime, man. Verse twenty nine it says, "Fire and hell and, and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance." So the Lord used all these different um elements, okay, to kill off the wicked, man. Because you never know what that person did in in in, in a four time, man. Okay, all right, because you know. That 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 bad spirit was reincarnated, all right, from 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 uh, from the ancient world, okay. So the Lord got the Lord got rid of him, man, okay. He said, "Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and a sword punishing the wicked to destruction." So the Lord used all all these different elements that He created to punish the wicked, man, okay. Whether you whether you li live live before, did some wicked before, and and it's catching up with you, man, all right. So the Lord created these spirits, you know what I'm saying, for vengeance, man, because that that fire had a spirit in it, man. Okay. Um, slack <coughs> you. Let's prove that um, the Lord never forget the wickedness that that that's, that once was done in your past life, man. Let's go to um. Job, what's that, two and four? Or four and two? I got to look it up. Or oh, it's 14 and two, one of the other, let me see. I'm about to look it up. Paris being innocent. Let me see. Alright.
This is um Job chapter four verse seven. It says, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off. All right, because ain't no ain't no telling when um you know when your or whatever you did in your past life. You know what I'm saying? So that's why people be getting killed. Innocent, innocent, you know, innocent. Some things happen to innocent people, man. Like car crashes, car explosions, okay, accidents. People, you know, motherfuckers get hit by a stray bullet or whatever. That's that's the Lord, man. He say, even as I seen that they plow iniquity and sow wickedness, they reap the same. All right. So if you plow wickedness, iniquity, then you're gonna reap the benefits. Of, of of what you did in your past life Which you probably didn't know what you did in your past life You reincarnated in this world Your spirit You must have had a bad spirit back then That means And um and, it's, and that person that died and That same spirit went into that person And the Lord got ju And the Lord judged, judged that person for that man Okay That's why you see innocent people getting killed off And wonder why people be crying and mourning Saying, oh, what happened to that person and all that? No, the Lord is paying back the Lord. The Lord is paying that person back what that person did in his past time, man. Okay, because that car explosion, man, that was a gruesome um judgment, man. And you see that person hand in, in the street like that, man. So the Lord paid that person back with vengeance, man. All right. So yeah, man. Uh, with that, with that, I like to say, uh. I'd like to say all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh Shai by Hashem and Kakudash. I'd like to say double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and peace and salutation to the elect and uh, Salakia for, uh, you know, for the, for the, uh, for the delay of this uh, lesson, man, because, you know, Satan don't want this to come out. All right. You better stay, uh, you know, stay diligent, man. Shalom.